Hey guys, Harry here. I'm back again with another Brick Lane vlog on the new site today. Um, it's the first video doing this new site. Uh, we've had a, I've had a week there now. It's now Friday. Um, well, I started on the Monday. I didn't work the Wednesday. Uh, and I finished at 11 on the Friday. I just wanted to get two gables and a backup brick work. I took them 10 course on top of what was already there. Uh, I did what I said I wasn't going to do, is I've took over uh, a house, mid-lift. Um, but, you know, I've had a word with, with local who runs the, the main subby. And, uh, you know, he's a pretty sound guy. And, uh, you know, he's going to uh, pay us everything we need, you know, for alterations and stuff that we had to do onto this house. You know, minor stuff, cleaning trays, altering window reveals and stuff, you know, that had already been set out on block. The big reason why you don't set out on the block work is because you know your window formers can be can vary in size and then you know you have to move your pillars and stuff so you can't always go to the measurement of the openings but um you know we we did all right this week we did all right for three basically three days at work you know we weren't far off as day work you know i've not lost too much starting a brand new site did a little bit of head scratching had to ask a few questions make sure everything was you know um, oh, it should have been, you know, because a brand new job, I don't know everything, so I've got to always, uh, you know, clarify some details and stuff, and one or two misprints on the drawing was a bit confusing, and stuff like that, you know, but yeah, it's been alright, it's been a good good week, to be fair. Um, it's ready mix we're using, which is fantastic, I really like using ready mix. I've always made some of my best money when I've been using ready mix, I just find... Um, when I'm using silo gear, it's just so temperamental and inconsistent. Whereas ready mix, it's you know it's always consistently either really wet or too stiff. So it's um, I'd rather it come wetter than stiffer uh, because I can always put a couple of silicone uh, blocks in because these Durox super white ones, the white work as people call it, uh, they soak the moisture super quick. So if your mortar's ever too wet, which you know it's very rare, it comes too wet, but you know, you've got to have your head screwed on right to think, mm, you know, we're laying concrete bricks here. Um, they're not clay, they're concrete. These are like a concrete common with a face. That's all I'd describe them as. Um, we're varying either frogs or holes in. So the, um, the uh, you know, you've got to just make sure your mortar isn't too wet with these. Basically, you just want it ideal for pick and dip. Not too wet, not too stiff. Um, if it's too stiff, you know, there's nothing wrong with it being too stiff, you know, probably in winter, you're the stiffer the better. Uh, if these have a bit of moisture in them, you just basically, if these get wet, you just want them as stiff as possible. Um, you're probably not going to be able to take a gable up 20 course if it's, you know, if your bricks are wet or if the mortar is too wet. You know, you probably want to be building big corners with these, you know, profiles on, big tail outs. And then you shouldn't go far wrong, you know. Obviously, I'm a one and one or a one and two. Uh, now we've got another, we've got another lad starting. We've got, you know, a, I've got a couple of guys who I've saved to my phone. They've all got transport. They're all willing to start, but um, I don't know. Is wanting to start, and um, I know him, so and he uh, he's got his own transport, similar age to me, so. Uh, He's sort of top of the list, you know, I've had a lot, of, yeah, a lot of strangers let me down, in a sense. So I'm just hesitate to set anyone that anyone on that I don't know that will turn, that, that basically I know, that I don't know if they'll turn up or not. So, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see how things go. Um, I've had a, I've put the advertisement out on YouTube, so I appreciate everyone who's contacted me and left me messages. You know, thanks for your, uh, thanks for effort of, you know. If you, if you are wanting to start, you'll be all on a list and basically it's first come, first serve sort of thing. Um, but, you know, if you don't have transport, you're not going to be on the top of the list. You, you've, got, you've got to have your own transport, really, or your own way of getting to site. But I, I need someone who's reliable is going to turn up, really. You know, I can't have, you know, guys doing just two, two or three days a week, Monday clubbers and stuff like that. You know, you need... Just need someone who's regular, you know what I mean? It makes me look, makes me look a fucker, a cunt if you're uh, having days off and turning up to site on my own and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it's going all right. Old man's getting back into it, you know. Um, I'm taking it steadier this way. I took it dead steady this week, you know. I probably didn't lay over three hundred, probably laid about three hundred bricks a day, 
you know, that's how steady I go in. So obviously the shit lift had a big big deal to do with it, but I've done a back, I've done two gables in a back now, all windows set out right, your know, block work altered, trays are clean. You know, I've just got the front to do, which will probably take me a day to do the front. Um, to be honest, I might have it done sooner than that, depending on, I might be able to get on a bit of block work, probably do. My plan is, if all goes well, um, do the front, and then we'd build a few block work corners. Might do a bit of overtime, build a few block work corners, and then finish the block work on the Tuesday. Um, if it if it goes into a bit of Wednesday, there's no, no problem, just have to, uh, just have to, what do you call it, load out a lift probably at the end of the end of Wednesday because I think we've got one to start at four on Wednesday. Um, they wanted me to take over another, help another lad out on his plot, but I said I didn't want to do total lad, total main uh, main subby. I didn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, and he said no problem. So uh, there's definitely, uh, you know, I've been told I can stay on this site as long as I want. You know what I mean? If as long as the quality of work's just the same as it is now, you know what I mean? As long as we're neat and we, we get on with everyone, you know, we can stay as long as we want. So uh, I'm glad I don't have to move again. That's This is a really ideally close job, so. Um, when it comes to concrete bricks, you know, today's topic, I haven't really got one. It's just going to be a bit of an overview of the site. Um, you know, um, the concrete bricks. So, you know, it it's basically is what it is with these, you know, you... You can lay them pretty quick, but you've just got to be careful if they get wet or uh, with jointing them. Joint, you basically got to leave them a good half a day after you've laid them, really, to be able to join them, you know, neatly. Um, you know, in summer, in summer they probably go off a bit quicker, but in winter, you know, you've, you're sometimes having to join them the morning after. Um, so, got to be wary of what work you do. Uh, I find these don't really come up very well with a sponge. It's normally a brush that makes these up better. A nice soft horsehair brush makes the best job of these. I've used a sponge to be fair on a few of them that looks all right. But you've just got to let them go off and with ready mix it doesn't tend to go off as in like silo gear. Like silo gear goes off, off. Uh, but this sort of, it has obviously has a bit of retarder. We left some on the boards um, yesterday and I turned up this morning and it was still it was still soft and usable so this is what we're contending with um, just got to joint it neatly there's not really much you can do with them They're dead easy to joint so you just got to top and tail and do all that do not take much effort obviously brickwork's always easier to joint when it's wet so I'll probably see myself doing a lot of uh, basically a lot of jointing uh, well, I'm leaving a lot of the jointing to the end, and if it is too wet, if we've been smashing in five, six, seven hundred bricks, even coming up onto eight hundred bricks some days, um, you know, we'll have to be we'll have to just leave it and then cover it up with SE and damp, do it the following morning. You know, it'd be a stiffer job the following morning, but it makes a neater job I find, um, especially when coming into the winter months in the next in the next couple of months. So, yeah, everyone's friendly. Everyone's, uh, you know. Everyone, everyone's sound really, I can't fault the job, um, gaffers are alright, you know, they're not pushing you beyond your limits, you know, you know, they said, well, you have it done Wednesday, I said, definitely Wednesday, and they said, can I book it for Tuesday then, in case you get it done sooner, I said, book it for Tuesday, might have to knock it back though, he said, no worries, we can always knock it back, uh, you know, it's easy to knock it back, he says, then pull it forward, whereas some jobs, I've told them a date, and if I if you don't hit that date, they're fucking swearing at you. You know, they're fucking stressing. Oh, fucking hell! Da, 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 da. Oh, head in their hands. You know what I mean? Size, it's um, you know, sighing at you. It's absolutely uh, yeah. It's a nice chilled out laid back environment on this job. So, and the thing is, everyone everyone on there's grafting really. There's no one moaning moaning their head off at you. So that's nice. Everyone seems happy enough who's there and. Uh, you know, they've had a few, a lot of gangs, Jack, I've heard. I think this plot's had two gangs on it so far. But uh, it's, uh, it's been all, you know, it's been all right. It's been a, it's a look, looking a promising job. The ready mix has come in. The gaffer, one of main site managers said, you know, probably not going to have any gobble here after, on the Tuesday of the, uh, after the bank holiday. So, you know, it's fair enough. It'll be a solo day loading out, I reckon, on that day. I'll probably not turn up with anyone. Um, we're just coming on my own and load a lift out or probably do a lot of cuts because a lot of the windows are working half three quarter uh the window formers about 20 30 mil big to the actual um to 
to the actual opening size and then but the thing is the formers are bigger than that so because the windows are in check you have a bit of play um so you know you have about 10 mil each side play so i set one of my windows to the former size instead of the actual opening size and then i had to change it to the opening size on one you know some are bigger than others it's uh some of the formers come bigger than others you know some are 20 mil bigger than others so you've really got to just set your windows out with the former uh more than anything obviously it's not always possible because these are quite tall windows you know 1350i so like a meter and a half almost um so you know it's it's you know they have their own set set of you know obstacles when it comes to the windows and stuff but a lot of stuff's working out three quarters so a lot of time be ideal to get 100 mils cut you know your 100 mils cut before angry hammer and bolster uh, all your three quarters cut at the height at the thing you at the size you want uh mortar on the scaffold the night before um just everything will speed up. I, I know a few lads were laying at seven o'clock, uh, half seven this morning. I've been getting there at the old job. I was getting there at quarter past seven most mornings, but now I've been getting here at that. It's gone half past at this new site. I'm going to try to start getting there for seven come the new week. Um, make it, Well, obviously the first day I won't be able to, but the Tuesday, Wednesday and the Thursday um, and the Friday I'll be getting there at seven to start laying. Just because I can easily, you know, start having snap at about 11.30, 11 o'clock. And then, uh, you know, we're doing, then I'm doing like 12, well, 3.30, 12, well, 4. I'm sort of splitting the day dead in half. So 7, so 8, 9, 10, 11. So 4 hours, hour snap, 4 hours. That's your 8 hours there. And, um, you know, that's basically it. That's that's basically how I'm going to work it, you know. I've, I can, there's nothing wrong with these hours at all. They're dead easy to build. Um, I've not sort of seen anything that I think I can, that'll be a difficult one. Basically, all of them look dead easy. Uh, the three-story houses with the, uh, with the dog legs. You know, people don't like houses with dog legs, but I don't think they're that, that, that bad to build, you know. Especially all these internal profiles now. I'll probably just build them. A lot of the uh, a lot of the dog legs free and it's just it's probably easier to be honest you know what i mean probably easier just a small corner 10 course corner at level leave it for a bit go and do something else but we do another 10 course corner maybe when everyone's gone home or on a, on a bit of overtime you know when if something needs loading out labor it can go off and do that while i'm building the uh that so you know the houses are easy enough i can definitely see myself doing probably uh, this this week I could have, you know, I could probably see myself doing a, a sec, you know, like a second lift to scaffold in about six or seven days, maybe, if that, maybe less. Block work round, so one in block work up first, so block work round, maybe a day, maybe, a, yeah, a day, a day and a half, sorry, about a day for block work, and then one gable a day, the other gable a day front a day back a day so probably so and then block work inside probably seven or eight days seven or eight days for a for a, that's one of the biggest semis what's well, one of the biggest detached that they have um so yeah that's and that'd be a pretty good uh, be a pretty good day's wage to be quite honest a pretty good week for, if, any, if anything so uh yeah i'll see uh i'll see how it goes because some of the, these some of these gables like 40 bricks long so if you're taking them up 22 23 that's like 800 800 900 bricks in a gable so that's doable like 800 bricks in a in a day is uh, definitely doable so if i could get get doing that I'd be on to a winner I'd be on to a winner really um that's it, that's all I could think about for this week's, for the, for today's video. You guys will be seeing this on the Saturday or Sunday, probably, probably the Sunday. Hope you guys have had a good week. Um, I've had a busy one, so probably next week's video is going to be a bit more upbeat. Get some red cam, get some, you know, different. I'll be probably not recording for the first day or so. So when I get out front done, I'll probably record head cam on some bot work and then... But using skill saw, skill saw and dust and stuff can always make the fucking footage look a bit shit. So, 
Yeah, I'll see how I see how I might build some what corners on on video. I'll see how I go, see how everything goes. Probably probably gonna put some headcam on on the Tuesday or something like that, you know. So expect a video probably once you've seen this one. I expect one in two days later or so. So anyway, guys, thanks all for watching. Appreciate the support. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys. <laughs>
better to wallow and swallow my pride and admit that my life was feeling so hollow and I couldn't handle it. So I called a couple of friends and a caring specialist. Through all of my problems Till they started to shrink a bit well, Nothing's easy But you gotta believe me You'll never truly be alone It's okay to ask for help Don't need to fix it all by yourself It's okay to find a friend To lean on and talk it out Find someone who loves the things you say 